The roofing products arrive on site at a predetermined time and are offloaded to the roof. This truck has a boom that lifts each pallet of shingles and the carpenters place them in strategic areas of the roof. In the past, the carpenters would carry the shingles up the ladder on their shoulders called humping. Nowadays, conveyors, lulls, or delivery trucks with booms make short work of loading roofing materials. Okay, we're gonna talk a little bit about underlayment. What I have here is ice and water shield. It's a self-adhering underlayment that's used along the eaves and the valleys of roofs. And we also have felt paper, which comes in different weights. This is a 15 pound felt. There's also a 30 pound and 43 pound, okay? And we also have drip edge. Once you put the underlayment on, this will run along the rake edge of the roof. We've all seen icicles hanging over gutters and roof eaves, but don't pay much attention to them because of the season. To the trained carpenter, this could be an ice dam and could mean an extreme situation that can cause the roofing system to fail with severe consequences. The first line of defense is an ice and water shield made from a rubber membrane with an adhesive back with a very smooth front side. This acts as a gasket to seal and prevent ice buildup. If correctly installed, it can be a deterrent to ice dams. Okay, first we're gonna start with the uh, ice and water shield. Well, you, you have to take off the, the backing, and peel it off. Comes in two sections so it's easy to lay in a valley. I'm gonna take that off. And then we're gonna install it on the eave. What we do is we put it on there and we'll overhang it two inches so we can wrap it down on the fascia. Now when you install this, you can just smooth it out. You wanna put just enough fasteners in it to hold it in place. If on a windy day, you might have to use more. Like what we're doing, I can use two and that's gonna hold it in place. Once that's on, the gutter flashing can be installed just like that. The gutter goes up underneath there, and what this does now is it protects, it protects against ice damage. Carpenters lay a heavy paper that has been impregnated with tar and is used as an underlayment for waterproofing. This felt underlayment is fastened to the roof deck using slap staplers. 